Hello, Potato. How are you doing today? Me? I'm doing great. Because it's time for a crate video. We have the fall special delivery from Taste of Home crate and some random loot crate that I've had sitting around here because while I am truly well and done with them, I do have a number of crates they finally sent, the ones that were due from like 2021. Uh, they finally sent them all and I'm just gonna like portion them out and we'll do one whenever a special delivery crate comes in as long as we continue to do those. If we stop doing those, then we'll probably just do one last video to blow out whatever's left of these. So of course we do them together so they can face off against each other and see who is supreme. So let's start off with what's bound to be the disappointment and do our loot crate first. Okay, so it's very, very light. This is like the largest of the ones that I have and it's incredibly light. And as you see, they've very carefully sealed it with some, uh, some packing tape. So um, that's a sign of quality and care that I, I come to expect from the folks at Loot Crate when they're not charging me for things I've already canceled and then refusing to acknowledge my emails asking for a refund. So what do we have today? Okay, well, um, I'm not immediately disappointed. We have a Ninja Turtles pixel magnet set. I'm not sure why they're pixelated because that, that doesn't really look like any of the old video games. I played the old video games. Plus this is Nickelodeon, which is also not from the old video games. But a uh, little magnet set. Mm, not awful. Not the worst thing ever. Plus if this looks like it's probably going to be the jewel of the crate. A little Gremlins figurine. Let's open this up and see if it's any good. It certainly looks better than some of the other stuff they've given us in these crates on the box. Like that horrible G.I. Joe Campbell soup kid thing. Okay, so I can already see that the Gremlin on the box is not the Gremlin in the box. So that's interesting. So it's a stripe collectible figure, but in the box... I mean, is that stripe? I guess let's uh, see if that popcorn bucket comes off his head or not. But I'd say um, straight off, it does not look as nice as the one on the box. Does that? No, that does not come off. That is not stripe. That is not stripe. It's also not posable. Yeah, that is that is very much not the gremlin on the box. Um. Yeah, also, okay, not nearly as detailed. I mean, look at the detail work on the box. I mean, there's an effort here, but it's not... It's not as well defined. That's it. If, this, if it didn't say stripe on the box, I would not be nearly as disappointed. This is actually, you know, this isn't bad. It's not the best sculpt in the world, but it's not the worst thing ever either. If it, um, if the box had been accurate, I probably would have liked this little guy. I mean, I don't hate him. It's certainly better than some of the stuff we've been getting out of Loot Crates these last few uh, videos. But it's not what the box said it was going to be. And you lose several thousand points for that. Uh, especially for the fact that the box is a nicer looking item than what was in the box. But there are warnings on here. No water, no light, no feeding after midnight. Although, Midnight Wear is something I've never quite understood. All right, look at the pin. It's, uh, it's the Joker laughing, I guess. I mean, it is, it is an official licensed DC The Joker pin. Eh. All right, and finally the shirt. So we only have two items in this uh, crate, not counting the pin and the shirt. But the shirt is, uh, Kind of retro Batman, nice color, reasonably thick shirt. Batman from the Teen Wonder? I thought it was the Boy Wonder. It's one of those faux aged things though, I don't like those. If it wasn't like meant to look like it's uh, already been well used, I would like it better. I'm not a fan of this faux aged stuff. And was Robin ever the Teen Wonder? I thought he was the Boy Wonder. I mean, 
if what are they trying to cover up with that? Eh, not a bad shirt. Well, rating the crate's easy. There's only two things in it to rate. The best thing is the gremlin. And the worst thing are the magnets. Neither of them are particularly bad, honestly. If this had a couple more items in it, even of just middling quality, this would actually have been a good crate. If uh, the gremlin had been the one on the box, this would have been a pretty okay crate. As it stands, it does very much remind me why I've canceled my subscription to Loot Crate. Yeah, it's, it's definitely better than what we've seen from them in the last few efforts, but it, it's, it's just not good enough. All right, well, let me clean this up and we'll move on to Taste of Home. Okay, so here is our special delivery from Taste of Home Crate, because uh, they are inspiring home cooks everywhere. So I'm going to say straight off, I'm a little worried about this crate. Um, the I know you nothing looks out of place on the camera here, but the mailbox, when I picked this up, had a puddle of what I sincerely hope was honey in the bottom of it. And while I don't see any parts on this box that look like they're sodden with anything leaking from the inside, uh, there was some on the box. Most of it actually got on my hand. And um, see, so yeah, I'm a little, little worried that inside this box there's going to be a broken jar of honey, because there's like there's like some of the corners. Although I don't know which corner it is now, but I guess uh, guess we need to open this up and see what fate awaits us. This uh, could end up being a very very short video if everything is covered in honey. Here's hoping it's not. Dun, 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 but, but, uh, oh, it's stuck. Well, that would have been real dramatic, but, but okay, it looks like, uh, looks like we're pr probably okay here. I'm not seeing big globs of honey stuck to anything. I also found out if you wipe one of these boxes down with a wet paper cloth, the red dye comes off on the paper towel. So that's, that's something to know if you ever get one of these. Don't let them get wet. Much like a, much like a gremlin, if these get wet, bad things can happen. It's baking season, fall box. So yeah, we're not gonna look at that because that's a spoiler and we don't want to spoil, but I'm seeing a couple good things in here already. I mean, you can see them too. I have the camera up high enough. You can see into it today. But let's uh, start as we do with our recipe cards. I will make the obligatory comment about them being on cheaper paper than they used to be, and then move on. Taco Bell, Taco Bell, Taco Meatball Ring, uh, shredded cheese, taco seasoning, ground beef, crescent rolls. Well, minus the green onions, the tomatoes, and uh, my wife doesn't like olives, so, oh, and no jalapenos either. Minus those, um, I could see that being possibly made. Quiche pastry cups. Nuts and bolts, so snack mix with uh, Cheerios and pretzel rods and maybe checks. Cheerios, shredded wheat, either uh, bite-sized shredded wheat, pretzel sticks, peanuts, butter, Worcestershire sauce. So basically checks mix without checks. Mm, not bad. Lava cakes. Italian pan fried chicken. Easy fried rice. Blonde butterscotch brownies. I think those would be the ones on the picture here. Might be the same picture. Yeah, I think it's the same picture. And that's it. All right, not bad on the recipe cards. There's at least it's not the uh, usual thing of there being like a meat sandwich or lemonade or something that you shouldn't need instructions on how to make. But now on to the good stuff. And this time there's been no warning cards and you're saying that there's something missing. So everything we get in here should be what we were supposed to get. We'll start off with our contribution from Joey. Jo Joey. J-O-E-I. J-O-I-E. And it's an egg separator. It's a very cute little egg separator. Uh, however, we already have a vomiting chicken that we purchased because of uh, 
James May's O Cook Show. So not something we really have a particular use for, but still very cute. You can live back here. Oh, I've just noticed on the, uh, the little booklet, it does say look for a bonus item. So there is an extra thing in here that's not going to be in the list. So at the end, we'll look through and see what that thing is. Uh, looks like it's warning us that it may be a duplicate, something we already have. So hopefully it's either something we can use two of or something we can pawn off on somebody else. Let's look at this big guy back here. It's another Joey item, Joey item, J-O-I-E item. And it's a roll-up cooling rack. We actually have one of these kind of uh, rigs for our uh, dish strainer. Just goes over the sink. Sadly, I can't take it apart or open it up without tearing the packaging. And as it's not mine, I won't do that. But the picture gives us the idea. Uh, it's, a, it's a cooling rack that rolls up. I don't know. I mean, we have flat cooling racks and we have one of those like fold up trays to stack cooling racks on. So I don't know if we have any real use. For, maybe it's just like as a normal trivet, like for large pots or something. Still quality item. Uh, just not one I'm sure we have a whole ton of use for because we already have plenty of cooling racks. So moving on, we have a Taste of Home silicone basting brush. I mean, we have basting brushes, but I definitely wouldn't have picked one for this color. But yeah, not bad. Could use this. I mostly use our, our, our like basting brush that we have now for uh, when I'm doing things in the air fryer that I want to crisp up. Like uh, if we do like air fryer chimichangas or something, I'll brush on some oil so they brown and crisp up in the air fryer. But uh, so this, this could all be used for that instead of the one that I've been using. It's a little bigger. A little bit of a thicker brush, so might work well. All right, I think I see our, this is this is definitely our bonus item. The Joy, another Joy item, folding trivet. Yeah, I know we have one of these. Uh, we've used it a few times. Uh, normally I just take out like a, rubber, like a silicone oven mitt and throw that down to put things on, but uh, this did work well. So yeah, this and it's small enough, we can just toss it in the drawer, so. This is not a bad bonus item. This is a thing we can actually use. So that's a plus. Next up we have kitchen shears. Well, we have kitchen shears, but you can't have to, you know, KitchenAid, so that's a good brand. You can't have too many kitchen shears. The only problem is that the ones I, that we have that I like the best, they come apart. They actually are like, they come apart there so that you can wash them better, which I really do quite like. These ones don't do that. These ones, however, have a cover on them, which the other ones we have don't. Please place price sticker here, but I don't have a price sticker. Premium grade stainless steel blades, KitchenAid utility shears are dishwasher safe, but hand washing is recommended for longevity. Yeah, that's, that is not a bad item at all. So far, I don't think we have anything in there that's actually like crap. All right, I think I see, well, I think I see one of the things to be my favorite item, but let's do this one first. And it is a disher. And what size is it? Who's this by? By Wilton? Wilton, that's another good brand. All good brands this time. Nothing, nothing I haven't ever heard of. A Wilton cookie scoop. What size disher is this? Does it say? Before first use and after each use, hand wash in warm, soapy water. That's not what I'm looking for. It does not say what size of scooper it is. It's obviously a small one. We probably have one the size already, to be honest, but again, a good, useful item. All right, it looks like there's just one more item and then the cookbook. And that I think is gonna probably be my favorite one here. Azule, okay. Okay, we've got to a brand I'm not familiar with. I'm not familiar with Azule. A knife sharpener, although really it's a knife honer, not a sharpener, I'm sure. Can we get it open without destroying the box? Yes, we can. All right, can we do it? Yes, we can. So honestly, we don't have one of these and we could use one. So this got for coarse and fine blades from Zule Kitchen. So they didn't come with a knife, so you could try it out. Although I suppose any knife that it comes with it should already be sharp and not need to be sharpened. 
How's that for nonsense? Eh, the bottom could be, I think, a little, a little more grippy, because that, that slides very easily. But I suppose you're gonna hold it in place, right? That's, I think that's, that's not bad at all. Finally, we have the book, which is Fall Baking. 275 plus, so 276 breads, pies, cookies, and more. Flip through just randomly, we've got rosemary walnut bread, Greek breadsticks, caraway scones, that looks like some biscottis, maple butterscotch brownies, caramel walnut tort, or sorry, tart, creamy apple crumb pie, double butterscotch coconut. So good, good stuff for the fall baking season. Assuming, of course, you want to spend the fall baking season well, baking. If you want to spend it like frying, not so great. All right, raiding the crate. So normally I don't rate anything disposable. But we don't have anything like that this time. Nothing here is single use, which I like. Uh, favorite thing, definitely the knife sharpener, mostly because we don't have one and we can use one. Second favorite... See, we have a lot of repetition here. I mean, even though there's, you know, only one thing that we have the exact one of, we think we have pretty much everything else. So I'm gonna go second place. I'm actually gonna go with the cooling rack. Don't think we have a lot of use for it, but it is something at least different. We don't have any cooling racks quite like this. Well, like I said, we do have a dish strainer like this, but no cooling racks just like this. So uh, that's a plus on that. Third place. Gonna go with the shears. They are KitchenAid. They look pretty decent. They feel good in the hands. Got a nice little rubbery grip. Well, at least the center is rubbery. The outside is more of a hard plastic. Not bad at all. Fourth place, I'm gonna give to the Disher. Wilton is a good brand. I think it's a duplicate something we already have, although I don't think the one we have is Wilton. So good and useful, good for making cookies and other such stuff or just very tiny scoops of ice cream. Then next will be our silicone basting brush because it's just a silicone basting brush. It's Taste of Home brand. Making it the only real kind of non-name brand item in this crate. And last place will be the trivet. And that's really just solely because we already have this exact item. But no, this is, a, this is actually a really good crate. There's nothing in here that's garbage. There's nothing single use. Oh, no, sorry, last place. I forgot an item. Last place is the egg separator. Cause while it is cute, we absolutely do not need it. We have a, uh, first of all, you don't need the egg separators anyways. You have egg shells you can use for that. But aside from that, we have a vomiting chicken. And once you have a vomiting chicken, no other egg separator is ever necessary. So yeah, that's last place just cause it is the least useful item in this whole crate. But yeah, again, no bad items in this crate, no crap no throwaways, no single use, no edibles. This is probably one of the better crates I think we've ever gotten for them. So, of course, we have to compare what crate reigns supreme. Do we give it to our jam-packed full of goodies, taste a home crate, or these? Well, I, I think I think my choice is obvious. You let me know what you think in the comments. Do you think these beat all of this? Or do you think all of this beats these? Let me know in the comments. But I have to clean this up now and give it back to my wife so she can pretend I haven't already looked through it and at least let her know the good news that there is no honey inside the box. So that does beg the question of who spilled honey inside the mailbox? Or, or worse, was there like a beehive in there that I didn't notice? And thank goodness it was cool enough that they weren't awake. Because that is freaking terrifying. Still, I have to clean this up. I hope you found it all interesting or entertaining. If you did, go ahead, give the video a like, subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you in the next video. Let's go, uh, let's go sharpen some knives.